are you guys goal setting for this year? Because I feel like that is very much necessary for this family. Without goals, it's going to be the same way it was last year. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Allison Leah. If you are new here, welcome, welcome. Happy New Year. For those of you who have stuck with me through last year, I appreciate you. I love you a ton. Thank you so much for supporting my channel. Let's get into today's video because, oh, I forgot to tell you, like and subscribe because um, your girl's gonna be monetized this year. I promise you that. But so for this year, we have a ton of goals that we have set for our family. And the very first one that I'm going to start with is family budgeting. This one here has been a very touchy subject. I feel like a lot of families struggle with like just talking about finances in the home and like budgeting and things like that. I feel like it's very important to understand the money that's coming in and the money that's leaving your home. I also feel like it's a very sticky situation when you're not married and you have kids with someone and you guys are what everyone in my mom's generation would say, shacking up or playing house, whatever you want to call it, right? You're not married. It becomes very like murky waters. So I'm going to get you through a couple just like quick little goals that you can implement in your house and let me know what you guys are doing for goal setting for your family. I would love to know. I'm always curious to see what other families are doing and what works, what doesn't work. So please leave a comment down below. Let me know. I think it also is important for each person to have like their own spending account, like their own bank account, but it also holds both parties accountable when you have an account for bills and it's just like a separate checking account that you both have access to it's a shared um, account you both put money in for bills the money goes straight to where it needs to go whether it's rent mortgage um, I don't know what else you household groceries stuff like that all that gets budgeted in, and then you have your own separate expenses like um, for example like I have a car note that I won't have thank God Thank God, because I'm almost done with my car note and it is going to be so like freeing for me because that's one heck of a bill that I have to pay right now that I am looking forward to a break from. So um, kudos to me. I'm going to put myself on the back because I did that. I didn't give up. I finished the entire loan. It's tempted to get a new car, but I can't afford it. Because the way this family budget set up is not, no, it's not going to work. So the second piece that I want to bring up is just like continuing to bond with our kids. Take them out. Let them experience new things. Like I said to you in many, many videos that um, I did before, you should go check those out. I find that when you just interact with your children and you play with them, whether you're indoors because it's raining, whether you take them out in the rain, they love interacting with you as mom as dad as caregiver as caregiver whoever you are they just want the attention they want to, the interaction they want to engage with you they want to laugh they want to play they want to feel your closeness you can take them to Chuck E. Cheese sure it's going to be quite overwhelming especially when they're really young you can take them to an indoor playground um you can take them many places but just know like is it you who wants to go there or is it your child? And I'm pretty sure it's you because they can't, some of them can't verbalize that yet. So just ask yourself those questions. Just bond with them, sit on the floor, color with them, play a matching game, play hide and seek, play chase, things like that. Like they really enjoy that. And it doesn't have to be anything lengthy. Make it a 10 minute thing. Set a timer and say, hey, after the timer, we're done with that. We're moving on to this, you know? So being more intentional about spending time and bonding with my two girls is definitely a goal that I will continue into 2024. I feel like this is the bigger one that we set for the family for this year. It's like eating healthier or finding alternatives for the stuff that we like that's not necessarily good for you or has like artificial sweeteners and um, uh, like GMOs. I'm not really crazy about like organic stuff like I feel like people slap organic on things and then call it healthy but then you look at the sugar on it and you're like how's that healthy so for me I always just look at the back I have become such a person to just like 
look at labels in the grocery store it's insane like it just it's become such a habit i'm constantly looking at new research i'm kind of like a nerd in that sense but we won't get into detail but just like to eat more clean probably is like the best thing for you it's just like feed your family the most nutritious food of course eating clean, taking vitamins, drinking lots of water, getting sunlight, those things are highly, highly important for you and your family. So I hope you guys are well. I hope you continue to be well. The other piece that I believe I mentioned in another video is that I will allow them to literally just like help me with everything that needs to be done. It like, for example, yesterday I I make it a point for them to help with household chores because they are part of this home, they are part of this family. I don't want them to feel disconnected from that. I want them to understand that like, this is our home, we take care of it, and we're a team, we're a unit, right? We are a family. This is our home. So just yesterday I was doing laundry, I also was putting Christmas decor away, I was taking things down off the wall. and what do kids like more than anything else they like to tear stuff down they like to dump things out and be destructive so i let them do just that i let them take the garland down i let them take some of the ornaments off of the tree i also let them put their own laundry into the washing machine okay let's go get your clothes let's put your clothes in the washing machine let's take your clothes from the washing machine put them in the dryer like things like that they love to press the they love to press the buttons they love they like to press my buttons they like to press the buttons on the washing machine and the dryer and just buttons is just a child's jam so it's like let them press the button this time it's actually functional right make it a functional thing so if we are doing laundry yes we need to press the button to turn it on and select the cycle and press start or whatever they now are part of that process because we like to play with the wash. Now we are going to actually use the wash and we're going to fold the clothes. So I'm folding clothes. You can have a couple towels and pretend to fold. That works for me. Seems sometimes that it will take longer if they help. It actually does not. Okay. Because as you're folding, they're fake folding and you're like, oh, that's the last towel we need to fold okay let mommy help you with that towel and then we fold it together and boom we're done they will hold that same towel for however long it takes you to fold the rest of the clothes or the rest of the towels i promise you they're going to just it, it's going to be the most it's the most hysterical thing in the world to watch them actually try to fold so you will be entertained and they'll be frustrated which is kind of like payback because it's usually the other way around so that's pretty much it um the other thing i didn't want the other thing i wanted to mention and i forgot to mention this before is that we would like to double the amount that they have in their savings so um the dollar amount that they have in their savings now the goal for the following year is just to double that um which i think is a pretty sweet goal because we have lots of help from people that love and care about them and give them money all the time. So I think that that is certainly an achievable goal. And lastly, the goal is just to save as much as we can for the home that we plan to purchase. We have very similar taste in what our home should look like or what we want our home to look like. And I'm so grateful for that. I'm so thankful for that because I feel like that's one of... <laughs> The bigger fights that couples get into is like what our house is going to actually look like. And I'm so glad that we're on the same page about size, the aesthetics of it, what we want it to have, what things are must have. So um, we're saving for the same things. In 2023, the goals that we have for our family are pretty similar. We just want to up them a little bit. We want to make sure that we are um, being more intentional and we're being more present with our kids. And we want to make sure that we are truly giving them um a solid foundation that we call home so thank you so much for watching this video i hope to see you guys in the next one if you have not subscribed please subscribe hit that like button and don't forget to hit the notification bell good luck to you and your family let me know any goals that you guys are setting for your kids so do not forget to hit that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any content i will see you guys in the next video and